Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Stu Garrow, who's the Senior Vice President and General Manager for APAC at Talent. Talent is a specialist in the data integration and management space. Stu joins us today to discuss the company's key solutions and how they can help organizations excel in the data management space. Thanks for joining us today, Stu, and uh, welcome to Jam. Thanks very much, Mitchell. Great to be here and uh, great to have the opportunity to share. Awesome. Um, so just to start off, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what Talon's key solutions are and how you guys go to market in Australia and New Zealand? Yeah, fantastic. Talon it has a data platform. So our primary offering is the Talon Data Fabric. It is the, the single unified data platform. It's really about helping organizations uh, from very small to very large all the way through the industry, being able to have a single data platform to support all of their data needs. So whether that's on-prem, whether it's in the cloud, whether it's multi-cloud or a combination of all of those, a single source of data for everything from collecting the data from different sources, being able to bring it together, create high quality data, make sure it's trusted, do all your governance, compliance, traceability, and then sharing that data out and making sure that the different people that require that data throughout a business have access at the right time in the right way to be able to deliver business value from data. And that's really the thing that we see um, as being pretty critical. We, uh, we operate with some direct teams that operate across Australia in a number of cities, including uh, New Zealand, where we have um, teams based there. We also work with a whole series of partners, many of the, the system integrators, both locally within Australia, and certainly all the international SIs that would operate in Australia would all have a talent practice. Uh, we have thousands of customers around the world and those organizations all have a practice for helping customers be able to implement those data platforms that are so critical in today's world. Oh, fantastic. Um, seems like a wide ranging um, scope you guys have there. And in terms of the um, biggest problems in the world of data right now, what would you say those are? You know, it's, it's one thing if you ask that question of, uh, of dozens of different people throughout, you know, different organizations and you said, hey, what do you think the biggest problem is in data? Different people will all have a different perspective. It's sort of like the, the, diff, the, the blind man and the elephant all seeing a different piece of it. Some people will say it's because my data is in 400 different systems, which is the sort of average that we see across a large enterprise today. Some people will say the data isn't accessible. I don't trust it. It's inaccurate. Um, the quality of my data is not good enough. I can't use the data because it doesn't meet any of my compliance requirements. And they may be internal or external. It, it may be you know, as simple as just not accessing the right data at the right time. It takes too long. And everyone will have a different problem that they're looking at. I think at Talon, one of the things that we've done stepping back from this is to say that all of these things are really important. They're really important, but none of them are the most important thing right now. The biggest problem that we see in business today is business leaders not getting value from their data. And if I ask the question of a business leader and I say, hey, you must have access to a huge amount of data. And they'll say, yeah, I have dozens or even hundreds of different systems where my data lives. And you know, I, I, I technically own all this data. Or I have access to this data. Do I get value from it? And the answer is no. And so we think that many people focus on the problem the wrong way around. They'll focus on trying to bring together all of their data and they'll try and move all their data to the cloud and they'll focus on trying to improve the quality of all of their data. And the reality is most organizations will never have enough time or enough money or enough resources. You know, People are a scarce resource in the industry today. If you have people today in the world of data, they're probably already talking to a headhunter about their next job and they could leave tomorrow. And so this, this problem of not getting value is something that becomes really, really important. So one of the things we try and do is focus on the problem the opposite way around. What's the biggest outcome that an organization can get from data? What's the single biggest problem you're looking to solve? And we work backwards because every minute you spend on data that doesn't deliver value, you're effectively wasting organizational resources, people, time, money, storage, compute power, cloud resources, all of this. And so we focus on outcomes first, 
working back to the right pieces of data so that we can focus our scarce resources on the data that makes the biggest difference for an organization. Um, and, and, and this getting value from data has got to be the biggest issue in the industry today. Yeah, and just to kind of follow on from that, how can an organization support its business objectives with healthy data? Well, the first thing really is to, is to stop focusing on the data first. What you've got to do is focus on the outcome first because healthy data is data that delivers an outcome. Unhealthy data could be perfect. It could be high quality and trusted and complete and accurate and accessible and timely. It could be all of the great factors. It may satisfy all of your internal and external compliance, but if it delivers no value, that data is technically unhealthy because you never, you've spent a bunch of resources out of the organization. And so the first thing is thinking about data differently. It's moving to what are you trying to achieve first and then having the data platform in place to be able to grab the right data at the right time with the right people in the right way to be able to deliver outcomes. And so the, the, the single biggest change is that move and that focus on outcomes first, working backwards to the data. When you do that, you start accessing the right data at the right time and you're able to deliver value for the organization so much faster in a world where the amount of data every organization has is truly exploding. Yeah, and why is establishing data excellence critical? Well, once you've worked out you know, what's gonna deliver value for you as an organization, you've looked at the outcomes and said, hey, this is what I need to achieve first. You know, I need to improve my sales efficiency. I need to reduce my marketing costs and my conversion rates, and I need to improve. Once you start and focus on those outcomes first, you still need great data. You, the data excellence piece of it says, if I have perfect data in sense of, I've gathered it from all of these different sources. I have a 360 view of my product, my customer, my student, my taxpayer, whatever it is, I bring together all of that data. But if it doesn't meet the internal government's governance requirements, then I'm not gonna be able to use it. I, or for example, if it doesn't meet my GDPR or a GDPR equivalent in each of the different countries we operate, then I'm not going to be able to use that data. And so if it doesn't make that last mile, I'm not going to be able to deliver um, a great outcome for the business. So we still need data that is trusted, that is high quality, that is accurate. And that um, it also includes making sure that the right people have access to the right data. That we'd love to say every data-driven organization, I can give all my data to everybody and it'll be, you know, that's, that's my perfect outcome but that would in fact be complete chaos. I need to have this ability to have the right people having access, not limiting them, but also not having anyone that shouldn't have access to the data being able to access it. So getting that balance of um, access and control right is super important. Yeah, absolutely. And you touched on it a little bit before, but um, how can talent help establish data health and excellence in general? Well, it's, it's a couple of things. I mean, the first one is you do need to have a data platform in place. And this is where, you know, data fabric from, from talent is typically something we put in place because people don't necessarily know the next data problem they're going to have. You need to have all of the pieces in place because if you have a single air gap between where your data is and the outcome you're looking for, then no value will be delivered. So if I, I have a perfect 360 view of my data, but I don't have, I don't satisfy my compliance, for example, if there's that one gap, then I won't be able to deliver value from it. I won't be allowed to use the data. And so the platform that we put in place that protects an organization anywhere on-prem or in the cloud today, and thinking about the journey in the current economic situation, not only from on-prem to cloud, but also from cloud back to on-prem, as people's requirements change, compliance changes, et cetera. And so Talent provides that platform, but also the professional services guidance to help organizations put it in place. Fantastic. Seems like a very extensive range of uh, offerings you have there. And just to finish off, how can people get in touch with Talent? Um, through our website, talent.com is probably the easiest place. Our phone number, our contacts are all there. We'd love to come and engage with you. We engage with people often doing a data health assessment. We can do some of these things very quickly and really show people how to sort of get out of the quagmire of having so much data they don't get value from, be able to flip that on its head, 
start and get value very quickly. It isn't necessary that you need every piece of talent to be able to do that. You may need some very simple things, but talent can certainly help change. Get in contact with us through the website, uh, talent.com, and uh, we'll come and engage. Well, fantastic. Thanks so much again for joining us today, Stu, and uh, we look uh, forward to hearing more from talent in the future. Fantastic. Thanks, Mitchell. Really appreciate it.